Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome to one of possibly a number Kamikaze Craft tutorial. And the only reason uh, that this video is titled Kamikaze Craft is because I have a sneaky suspicion that YouTube won't like um, uh, a video titled How to Make a Suicide uh, Bomber. But in any case, um, to start off with, we're uh, just going to have a look at this thing uh, right here. This is the Grey Talon ICBM. Uh, the game is paused, time is frozen, and over there is the Marauder. And let's see uh, if this thing does that thing which it's meant to do. So I should mention that... Uh, yeah, I thought so. So um, we're going to keep things nice and simple today because as what tends to be the case with From the Depths, there are many different ways uh, to make a suicide craft, a basically a nuke. Uh, for one thing, you don't have to use nukes. There's all kinds of ways you can use um, uh, loaded APS clips. You can use uh, uh, what, what's the term for it? Like kinetic uh, kinetic rammers, where basically once the thing's close enough, you have a loaded APS gun um, uh, fire backwards to hurl the thing uh, into the thing at great force. There's mass drivers, which is a specific way of launching Kamikaze craft. Uh, yep, we're definitely covering those another day. But today we're keeping things nice and simple for two uh, fairly reliable ways I found for making a suicide thing. And uh, this Great Talon, uh, by the way, neither of those methods are what the uh, Great Talon uh, ICBM does. It uses ACBs to switch between an aerial bombing and charge behavior, and I hate the charge behavior. It is uh, horribly unreliable, so I tend not to use it. And as you can see, the thing has, belly flop has belly flopped into the sea, uh, so we're not going to go with that. We're going to go with something a little bit different. Aren't nukes nice? So to start off with, uh, the only uh, real nuke that I've made is this thing. It's the Tuzi Attic, and you'll notice a number of things about it. Firstly, it's got ion jets, and uh, the whole thing is actually kind of expensive for what it does. But it's still pretty cheap, so this thing is full of stuff, and in particular, it's got uh, two ACBs and setting in between two behaviors. It's engage and travel, so engage is uh, hovering uh, one meter above the target, so that's what it'll, uh, it'll uh, do when it gets close enough, and travel is hover ten meters above the target, so I find that this helps. Uh, just to get it so it doesn't belly flop into the water too soon. As we see, it's going to switch from one to the other about now or not. No, it already switched. So one of the things with nukes is that the AI in From the Depths is a little bit derpy when it comes to navigating. So you tend to get this situation where your suicide craft will just kind of float around a little bit. And in this particular case, um, the Tuziatic, which is Hungarian for firework, by the way, um, has done exactly that, except there we go, it has landed. And the reason that a particular craft has ion thrusters is just so it can move in water, because, as you've just seen, the Great Talon ICBM uh, likes to go for a swim, except it can't swim, and so it drowns, and that's very unfortunate. So, yeah, that's um, one way to do it. Let's uh, delete this and we can spawn the Tuziatic in uh, for a bit of a closer look. So... Here's the deal. So, within 500 meters, it'll set the mainframe to engage, and above that, it'll set that to travel. Uh, the maneuver, uh, the adjustments are basically set to this. Max altitude is 3,000 meters because this thing can travel in space. Maneuver is ship or tank. So, the reason for this is because it means that um, the thing hovers kind of properly. Uh, it allows hover, uses pitch controls, and I tend to ignore this stuff because it actually just works fine. Also, this thing can turn on as well, so yeah, you can do that, and you can fly, and my goodness, my goodness, so many things wrong with this. In any case, uh, PIDs are also a good idea for these things, so um, these are just really simple uh, PIDs. It's an AI PID, actually. So, edit your controller, there's nothing fancy about them, they're my default uh, AI uh, PID setup, so it's just, the only one that's different is roll. So it's 0 0.5, 250, 0.5 uh, for your and pitch, and roll is 0 0.1, 250, 0 0.1. That's what works with this thing. You might have to uh, rig it up slightly differently. It's got a tiny little engine in here, and it works 
Well, I uh, have spent a lot of time on this uh, in order to get it to work right. But, good news is, is that there's a simpler way of doing this. And I will show you right now, it is in my testing folder, so... I guess what, it's technically three ways of doing Suicide Craft I showed you, because that's one. Uh, but, here's another, and it's just... It's what I call the hover plane. So, this fella is kind of similar to the Tuziatic in a lot of ways. And I've stupidly covered it with metal plates because I thought that would be cool. It's just basically a custom jet, an AI, uh, with target prioritization because you do want these things to... My goodness, didn't set that up right there. You do want it to go for the biggest and slowest things possible because these things are, uh, as you might guess, kind of terrible at hitting things that are as slow, I mean, as fast or small as they are. It's got uh, balloon takeoff ACBs. Uh, so it doesn't belly flop into the water, it's got nukes in front, it's got two general purpose PIDs because I find uh, you do need uh, PIDs or breadboards or something like that to make sure the thing flies steady because otherwise it goes kind of nuts. And this one does have aerial uh, maneuver. So the maneuver is airplane 2.0 and that's so you can uh, pitch towards target point. Why did I set it? Okay, no, I remember why I set it like that. Uh, it's so it does that. Anywho, um, the altitude is set to minimum altitude above land is one, minimum above altitude, uh, minimum altitude above water is zero, max altitude of 500 meters, can't fly into space. And the reason for this is that um, what altitude your target is at is a little bit weird. Uh, some surface uh, displacement craft, their altitude is uh, seen as negative. Uh, because that's just how it is. Their center of mass is below the water. And so if you set this higher, uh, like you set it to one, uh, for instance, one, uh, I tend to, I found problems with that. So it's best to just set it to zero. And the behavior is just hover above or below. This is probably the simplest way uh, to get a thing to run into something reliable because goodness, no, I've never been able to get satisfactory results with the charge behavior. And just hovering one meter above the target it tends to do the trick because then it kind of just like belly flops into it and so yeah that's uh this thing works reasonably well i'm not a huge fan of this particular model of um nuke uh, even though it does work well it does go very fast because you'll notice that as it flies along it's going in a reasonably predictable straight line uh that's not super good because even though it can say run into the marauder no problem uh, the split second it comes against something uh, with decent anti-air, uh, it gets shot down pretty easily. And in this, uh, it does tend to flop into the water a lot, which is a little bit annoying. But right there... Nope! You missed, you fool! Wait for it. He's going to not miss any second now. Nope, belly flop into the water. Oh yeah, very important detail. Uh, in order to get these things out of the water when they inevitably belly flop, uh, you'll notice that there are hydrofoils here on the front. They are not controlled by anything. They're set to a resting angle of 45, just so the thing kind of bounces off the water like a smooth stone. It also means that uh, when the thrusters inevitably push it back under the water, as what tends to be the case right here, you're making me look bad, mate. You need to stop doing that. So, yeah. It's doing better than the Great Talon ICBM, but uh, not by much. Come on now, you've done this before, I've seen you do it. I've seen you do it. There you go, almost there. You're almost going to get to the Marauder and kiss it. There we go, there we go, almost there, and nope, not quite. So, unfortunately, it's very hard to get Suicide Craft to not do this, uh, because... They just, that's what they do. They just like to, well, there we go. Bang. Uh, they just tend to flop around, and as it turns out, just like the AI uh, doesn't know how to predict uh, curving movement and aiming or something, the AI path finds uh, on a grid. So that's why sometimes it goes straight for the darn thing, and sometimes not. And uh, I'll show you what I mean about the AA. So let's get our friend the plunderer in and show you what happens if your nuke is not uh, dodgy enough because dodgy is important. It's either got to move very fast uh, or dodge uh, really well. If it doesn't, uh, that is an issue. 
The fact that this fella keeps belly flopping into the water isn't super great either, especially since, uh, yeah, Plunderer has torpedoes, so not a tremendous success. Uh, let's try it again. Let's see if we can get lucky, and if not, we'll skip to our next method. And nope, it looks like we have failed. We have failed miserably. We have been shot dead. Although we did... Hey, we did clip uh, some tail feathers off the plunderer. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And bear in mind that nuke I... Well, this nuke right here... Um, took me about half an hour to build. So it's not a particularly well-optimized one. If I fiddled around with it a bit more... I could probably get it uh, going a lot better, uh, but I didn't. It's just for demonstration purposes only. Uh, there is another way to make a suicide craft, and that is involves uh, this. So we got here, and this is one of the weirdest things I've ever made. Uh, this is a turreted uh, turret. Anyway, this is a turret steering suicide craft. So what have we got here? We have uh, a bunch of two-axis turrets on this thing, uh, all controlled uh, by local weapon controllers in here. It's got a wireless snooper, so it knows uh, where the things are. Or at least it used to... Oh, there it is. And it's got... Uh, what has it got? It's got no PIDs whatsoever. It doesn't even have behavior set. Um, it's got a little ACB that um, just sets the spin locks rolling. And on the spin locks... Um, are a bunch of wings, so I did a video uh, not too long ago about how to kind of make cheesy uh, wing propellers that uh, make you go very fast uh, for zero engine power, and you'll notice that there are nukes on the tips of these. So this thing flies at things, the turrets aim uh, both the nukes and the propulsion straight at the target, uh, so it uh, zooms at it at ridiculous speed, and this is probably one of the most cheesy things I've ever made. It just feels like cheese, but it uh, zooms under the target, and then boom. And we kind of missed by the looks of it, which is a problem, but thankfully these things are still rather cheap, so look at what we just managed to do. Now, the, uh, I must stress that this thing uh, is very cheesy because it uses those uh, spinning wing uh, propellers. But uh, the premise is there is like, honestly, some of the most accurate um, suicide craft I've ever seen use a method something like this. is basically thrusters on turrets that aim pretty much flawlessly at the target. Uh, Lathrix, uh, ages ago in one of his Nita campaigns, uh, made a nuke like that. It worked extraordinarily well. And uh, the White Flare's Dragon Claw works like that, although I don't think it works particularly well at the moment. There it is. And it doesn't use nukes, it uses uh, spinning... What do we call it? It uses spinning rams. So it's just going to zoom over there and probably belly flop, if I had to guess. Or get shot at. Yep, there we go. So this is why I would not actually recommend jets for this, because uh, it's better to have the thing, you know, be able to be a little amphibious. Never was particularly bothered by the dragon's claw, simply because, well, it does this. Uh, this fellow, on the other hand, is very much a different story. So yeah, that's basically two or three ways to do a suicide craft. You could do funky things with ACBs. Uh, you could do, you could basically make a plane that, that hovers inside the target. And just for fun, let's do this, but also this, and also this. And I just remembered that um, this is probably not going to work incredibly well. Nope, it is going to work pretty wonderfully, actually. It is also hilarious how nukes can uh, just push things around effortlessly. So this guy is, uh, he's got a problem on his hands. Oh well, one more for the road. Eee. That will do it. 
So yeah, that's uh, that's a few ways to use uh, make suicide craft. I will be putting um, the tizzy attic, uh, that little uh, CJE uh, nuke, and that turret steering abomination uh, up on the workshop, so you can uh, reverse engineer them and improve on them yourself. Because that's hilarious. That dragon's claw is uh, bothering me. I'm going to nuke it. What is happening? This is really weird. Okay, that's probably best to end the video there. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Assuming that this absolute nightmare doesn't kill me in my sleep. Farewell.